Welcome to Camper Trailer of the Year 2021, brought to you by the power of Redark. Today, we are looking at the Maverick Ranger, an affordable Ford Fold camper all the way from South Australia. Now, we know the Ranger is quite an affordable camper. You want to be able to use it. How comfortable was it? Look, it was reasonably comfortable. It's got everything you need, uh, two big bed, reasonable room around the interior. You could go camping quite comfortably in there, especially with a couple of kids, which is, I think, what this camp is designed for. This is a family tourer. And a lifetime warranty too on structural stuff, so that's pretty good. I enjoy the Makich because I've yeah. got that. I've used them for years, so yeah. I like them. I quite like the fact that it's got a 2.3 metre awning, so I can walk around under it no problem. Yeah. If you left the awning at home, what do you reckon, 90 seconds to flop it open and be ready for bed? Yeah, it would be a, it'd be a quick setup, for an, especially for an overnighter. Cookie, how about how it tows? Like, how'd you find it on the tracks? It towed fine, sat behind the car, didn't do anything unusual or anything we didn't expect. It's got reasonable ground clearance. Lowest point is 45. Good trailing arm suspension underneath it, did the job. Self-sufficiency is always a hot topic. Year on year, it's just increasing in importance for buyers. Kath, how do you reckon the Ranger went from that point of view? It wasn't bad at all. We had a space there for a couple of nine kilo gas bottles. We got 170 litres of water on board. Room for four jerrys in the front box. Heaps of storage and those, those pantry drawers near the, uh, the fridge there were a particular standout. Plenty there to keep you fed and watered for an extended period of time. It's pretty unusual, isn't it, location. to see this split yep. arrangement. So we've got the poles at the bottom. It means you could probably store clothing or something up here that you could actually access from inside the, uh, the camper. Rods. Fishing, Fishing rods. rods. Yeah. <laughs> Two of our criteria, value for money and X factor, are likely quite linked on this one. How do you feel about the value and what for you was the standout? Storage was probably the, the standout for me, the drawers inside, the pantry and then you know, under the seats was limited but it still put stuff in there when it's all folded up. This is the touch. Oh, the little so, step to the bed. Yes, yeah, step if you're a shorty or you can use it for putting your shoes on in the morning which I find pretty handy. Probably one of the major innovations actually is the storage in that camper. It is hard with a forward fold to get a lot of storage in. Traditionally most will only allow some space in behind the door when it's folded away. But that pantry and that little bit of extra storage makes a difference. Yes, it certainly does. You know, it's a good spot if you're you know, going on a walking trail and you want to leave you know, your handbag or something in there, it's all completely lockable. Everything comes at a price. Now we know the Ranger is quite an affordable camper. Quality is sometimes a question mark on quite affordable campers. How do you find it with a Maverick? Well, Maverick was very well serviced above the wasteland. We had 16 ounce canvas, we had midgy mesh, Dometic three burner stove, country comfort hot water system. In terms of inside, you're in pretty good order. Underneath, a little bit of work to be done. There was a little bit of uneven welding, cables exposed, some of the paint looked a little bit, how's it going? But there's, there's got to be a little bit of compromise if you're going to come in at the price point that the Ranger is aiming for and the market that it's aiming for. Again, we've got a very affordable camper, this one. What do you think about value for money, Glenn? I think it's reasonable value, you know, at $24,000 it's got a few additions in there that some of the other campers don't have, like projector DC-DC, solar and hot water service, so some things that others don't have that are priced at a higher spec. 